So when you say epilepsy, people think more lifelong, which can be. Uh, people think that you will never outgrow it. it it's it's going to be with you the rest of your life, uh, which is not true in a lot of, of kids. I would say uh, 85 to 90 percent, it may be 80, 85, we, we would be able to treat with medication and control it. And maybe half of those would actually, within two or three years, are not going to need the medicine anymore. We also have a, a, the ability in, in, at Multicare to do uh, the VNS, the vagal nerve stimulator, which is, which is a, an implant that uh, is a small, um, like a pacemaker, you put under the collarbone, and it has kind of two wires that go up under the skin, and they, the device is under the skin too, it goes up the neck into a nerve, and it can control some seizures. There is a couple of uh, diets that are effective in some cases of intractable epilepsy. One is the ketogenic diet, and one is the modified Atkins diet. Some people hear diet and they think that's much better than medicine, but it really isn't. It's definitely not, uh, you know, we don't use it unless we have to. I found that everything that I see is aggravated by poor sleep. Epilepsy is aggravated by poor sleep. Sleep deprivation affects the control of seizures. A lot of babies are not taught how to kind of let go and sleep. A lot of people like to hold their kids, and that's great, but it's best to get your child while they're still awake and put them in their crib so they learn how to sleep. You know, because if you don't teach them that, they're going to kind of suffer with the sleep problems the rest of their life.